the small surahs at the end and the Fatiha and what have you. I started there in, in, in Virginia, but then my wife, she was the main one when I went to Sudan. And then after that, obviously, any, uh, maybe a hundred or more came after her, mashallah. And uh, of course, you went to the University of Medina, alhamdulillah. Yeah. From the university, who is the sheikh that really had effect on uh, first of all, you know, when I went to the university, I didn't really realize, you know, the importance of having this shahada, this certificate, what it was, and I didn't really care about it. I didn't really care if I graduated. Or not. I didn't realize until I came to the, you know, to the to look for jobs after I graduate, how important it was and how good of a university it was, you know. Now when I go, oh, mashallah, you know, and I get good job offers all the time. I didn't realize that it wasn't really my goal. But what I, my goal was was to study outside of the university with the ulama and the classic uh, manner of studying. And in the university, I said, I'll at least have J. Jiddin, like, I'll be average in case, you know, you need the shahada in the future, you know, you never know. So I said, I'll just, you know, focus enough. My main focus in, it was outside of the university. And I guess I could say the, the ones who and he, they affected me mostly, I uh, was affected by them, uh, was basically uh, four mashaykh. Uh, from them, my main sheikh that I studied fiqh with, Ahmed al-Madhab, I studied with him, uh, Zad al-Mustaqni, you know, the famous one that Sheikh al-Muthaymin did the explanation of in 15 volumes. I studied with him the matin and completely from the beginning to the end. And the Sheikh is uh, Muhammad ibn Nasr al-Suhibani. And he's a teacher in the Prophet's mosque. His chair is in the middle. If any of you have ever been there, he has a, a long, it's not I mean, about as long as mine, but he doesn't have hair on the side too much. But it's rather long in the middle, white beard, uh, wears glasses, always wears the white qutra. He's, he's right in the middle of the haram, is where his chair is, uh, underneath the umbrellas where the opening is. So uh, he, 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 he was my main Sheikh. He was my neighbor. So what I did, I got a private lesson with not in, I studied a little bit in the Haram with him, but most of my time was in, in the masjid next to the house. And every, all the other people saw this and they tried to do it, but he wouldn't give them the private lesson. So it was me and a brother from uh, Bahrain. Masha was a very good uh, student of the Bahrain brother. He also was from the students of Sheikh Muthaymin, rahimahullah. And uh, we studied with him in fiqh, and he was, he's my main sheikh. Also, from my, the sheikh that I benefited greatly from was uh, Sheikh Muhammad bin Matar al-Zahrani, rahimahullah. Uh, and this was a, a very unique man, and he's subhanAllah. And he, when it comes to the, the knowledge of hadith, and this guy memorizes dates, and he, dates from the time we live in, from another time, anybody who died, what year he died, what year he was born, it was just, he was just so incredible in that, in that field. But even though he was so strong in hadith, he'd always tell us the important thing is what the implementation, the amal. He would see the shabab memorizing the sahihayin. He said, that's nice, but we want something greater than that. And it's the implementation. We want the students to and he act on what they have learned from the hadith. And he, we studied with him not from hadith. We studied with him durus tarbawiyya. You know, different uh, durus. We studied a book in da'wah. We studied books in, in tarbiyah, you know, books in education and saluk, how to make tazkiyah or pu uh, uh, purify our souls. This is what we focused on with him. So I benefited him greatly. And I didn't know the importance of this man until he died, rahimahullah, the year before I left. Because when I graduated, do I come back to the West? Do I go to Sudan? I had a job in Saudi Arabia. Where do I go? And he was the one I always turned to. He was like the father figure of my life, you know. So I missed him so much, rahimahullah, that last year. I didn't get the chance. Another one was uh, Sheikh Yahya Al Yahya, who was the Amid of the uh, the al or he was the Amid in the Jamia before, uh, one of the deans. And um, also, I learned from him the the importance of the Sirah Nabawiyah, not just reading it, but you know, taking the Durus and everyone should benefit from it, and that's his specialization. Also, the issues of Tizkia, and the Sheikh used to give us uh, a chart uh, that we would have to do if we wanted to, and you'd have your pen, you have your paper, did you get the takbir of ihram? Not just the salat al-jama'ah. Did you make it that day or not? Uh, did you pray one hour of qiyam al-lil or not? Did you read one juz or not? Did you make inkar of munkar and al ma'roof one time in the day or not? This type of thing, you check it off, and you add up the percentage at the end. So it was kind of fun, and he was really getting good in, in educating us. We benefited a lot from him. And the last one I really benefited from uh, is Sheikh Abdul Aziz al-Qari, the former khatib of the... Uh, the, the masjid uh, of, of Quba for nine years until he, he was stopped, obviously, by the government then at that time during the, the fitna that happened. And he is also, if you go back to the Mus'haf, the old print of the Medina Mus'haf, you'll see he is the Ra'is, he's the president of the legend of the committee that reviewed the entire Mus'haf. He's originally from Bukhara. And even though he's my sheikh and I differ with him in a lot of opinions, I learned one great thing from him. Uh, is that how to respect the opinion of others. You know, because he would come and he would come with some weird opinions that we thought. It wasn't, you know, because a lot of our mashaykh, you know, they're from Nijd and they're from this, you know, so his opinions sometimes they'd be a little strange for us. 
But I learned how to respect the, uh, the other scholars who we differ with and how to respect the opinion of others and how to have adab and, and, and khilaf when you differ with other Muslims. We learned a lot from him. And the books that we learned with him and he, were most, mostly the books of Sheikh Islam and Taymiyyah. Uh, we had a dars every Sunday at his house. Uh, he was my neighbor in the neighborhood as well. The neighborhood was the neighborhood of the Mashiach, alhamdulillah. That was a blessing from Allah right next to the university. So we studied with him and al hisba and al siyasa sharia and we studied with him also iqtida salat al mustaqim uh, from the books of Sheikh al-Islam. We benefited greatly. I had a whole bunch of private sessions with him as well too and we benefited from them. And also all of these Mashiach, and especially Sheikh Muhammad Matar and Sheikh Yahya, they always taught us the importance of going back to the books of the Salaf and Aqeedah and not just, you know, focus on some of the modern books and Aqeedah, even going back to the books like Al-Ibana and Shar al-Sunnah al lakai and these books that, you know, where you take the, with the Isnad of the Aqeedah, where you take it from the Salaf directly uh, to have the proper Aqeedah. So um, these are, these are my, my main Mashiach that we benefit from. And obviously there's other more. In the university, I can, I can mention two. Uh, that really affected me and he, in my study in the university. One was Sheikh Abdullah Jarbour, who taught us Aqeedah. He was a, a, amazing in Aqeedah. And also, um, the, uh, his name is Sheikh Abdulaziz al Sulumi. Uh, this guy, he taught Sira. You know, you were on the battlefield when he taught. This guy could, he was like a drill sergeant. And he would look like a drill sergeant, you know. And he taught you, you know, if you missed the class, you would cry. Wallah, you'd cry. And you were in the class, and you'd be like, yes, and the guy could teach the Sira, you know. You really felt, you know, goes with the hood, but you know, you're on the battlefield, you got your sword, you're ready to go. He explained it so well. Hey, may Allah bless him. Yeah, he was a very, he's not that famous, not a famous guy, but the guy can teach. Yeah, he can teach, mashallah. So these really affected me, the, the, these teachers. Yes. In this masjid and other masajid, I see a lot of young people going to the imams of the masajid and asking them for a lot of recommendation for the University of Medina, or Umm al Qura, or Jamaat al Imam, or even other places. Uh, I learned that you got your tazkiyah from Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz rahimahullah. rahimahullah. How did you do it? Yeah. How did you get your tazkiyah? Mm. And I, I want to add some more, but I just want to leave it to this, inshallah, to be the last question, inshallah. Mm. Uh, but definitely, inshallah, we may you do this, inshallah, tomorrow to learn more about the okay. Sheikh bin Baz. But please tell us um, how did you get the sisters from Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz Rahimullah. Okay, it was actually a very interesting story that uh, I went to uh, the Sheikh and uh, I had actually two recommendations from Sudan. Uh, one was from uh, Sheikh Uthman al Habbub, and he is from the student of Sheikh Mubaz. And he wrote for me a very, very strong recommendation, and one that I feel I probably don't even deserve, you know. Very strong recommendation. And the other one was from Sheikh Hussein Hushish who is the, a famous Qari from uh, Syria, but he lives in Sudan. His second wife is from Sudan, and he has now Sudanese nationality. Uh, so he, but he told me, if you see a person who looks like this, be careful, he's this and this in the government, so don't give him my tasker, it'll hurt you, it won't help you. But it's just the Sheikh, the Sheikh loves me. But as for Sheikh Uthman al-Habbub, and he, all of them loved him, so I went with that tasker. Just I saw what he said, so I put the other one in my pocket, just in case. And I went with the tasker of, uh, of Sheikh Uthman al-Habbub, and I saw the Sheikh, yeah, it was amazing, wallahi amazing. It was you know, the first time I had seen him in person. It was in his house in Mecca. And actually the funny thing was that I had